I hope you didn't think last week rewriting and converting your story uh, into a script. Or have uh, too much trouble learning how to use the Celtex uh, software program. Although COM 2339 is titled Writing for Electronic Media, I like to think of it as a script writing course. This week, I'm going to be talking about formatting. Look, formatting is really, really important. And I'm going to uh, get kind of detailed about it. Now, what exactly is a script? You know, a script is a method for expressing with words the pictures and sounds imagined by a writer in a way that can be understood and interpreted by others who turn those written words into actual pictures and sound on screen. But you stop and ask yourself, where do I start? And you've read or heard that there is a proper way to do things. But before you become too caught up that quote-unquote correct way to do it, first jot down those thoughts and write a brief description of the story you want to write. You're going to have uh, the director, the cast, the editor, and the production crew who all have to read your script and interpret it and interpret that outline, your story, in their own way as it's filmed. You know, there's going to be other writers that will probably be brought in to rewrite your original story. Uh, you may be consulted, or more likely than not, you're not going to be consulted. And that's just life in the real world of a screenwriter. Also, because so many people are involved in the making of a film, uh, a script uh, must uh, conform to some standards that all parties can understand. The specific format or layout has got to be consistent with consistent margins, notations, and other conventions. Those are there so that the information in the script can be easily found and used to make the film. Those standards exist and have been established and set so all know and all can tell what's going on and can work towards taking the words on paper and making images on the screen. Here's the master scene formatting rules. Well, there's just some of them anyways. The master scene format is used in narrative films and in television. Uh, and these have evolved over time. These are the standards with which those people making the film are going to be used to and that you need to know and to use. Screenplays are written on 8.5 by 11 inch white, three-hole punched paper. That's the that's traditional way. I mean, I know we run printer paper through our printers today without holes in it, but it, at some point they're going to have to be punched. And there's a page number that goes in the upper right-hand corner with the other header information. You never put a page number on the first page. You know, scripts are always written in that old typewriter font called Courier or some variation of the, the Courier font. And we always use the, the number 12 point size. This ensures that your script is able to work for timing purposes so that it, it can properly be measured. So that one page of written script equals about one minute of screen time. You know, the top and bottom margins vary between half an inch to one inch in size. And because uh, of the three holes on the left side of the page, the left margin is set to 1.2 or 1.6 inches. And the right margin runs between half an inch to one inch. Here's six more rules for formatting a master scene style script. One, action runs from the left to right margin, the full width of the page. The same as the scene heading, it's, it starts on that left hand side. Scene action and shot information is single spaced and written in mixed case. Two, when you introduce a speaking character for the first time, you write their name in all caps inside of the action block. Three, for dialogue, a character's name is formatted in all uppercase letters and indented three and a half inches from the left. Lines of dialogue are indented two and a half inches from the left. Also, a line of dialogue runs for about 30 to 35 characters in courier font before the text wraps back and starts over again at that two and a half inch margin. When you do use an exit transition, the left margin is indented six and a half inches from the left. And transitions are formatted in all caps, and they almost always follow 
an action block and proceed a scene heading. And other than the, at the very beginning of your script, you don't write your transitions on the left-hand margin uh, before a scene. You write them over on the right-hand side at the end of a scene. And shot information, or camera direction, like action, is written flush with the left-hand margin and written in all uppercase letters. They should be their own paragraphs with a blank line before and after. Now remember, you're writing for a visual medium. It's crucial to remember what a film is at all times of your writing. The creative writing associated with script writing is uh, different than any other type of creative writing. You don't write as if you were telling your audience the story. is such that it shows them what's happening in the story. You must learn to write visually. A script consists of the pictures, the sounds, and the speeches made by the characters. Everything else you leave to the rest of the filmmakers. In a script, you write what the audience sees and what they hear only. When it comes to the format of a script, the layout is paramount. The layout of your script is very, very important. The format is so important, in fact, that in Hollywood, there are professional script readers whose sole job is to look for formatting issues, and if and when they find them, that script is trashed before a single word is ever read. When it's formatted correctly, a single page of your script equals about one minute of on-screen time. This uh, structured layout, however, is not an exact science, but as you'll find, there are industry standards. Different production companies and directors are used to scripts that look a certain way. And when yours doesn't fit into what they are used to or what they're expecting, uh, your script will not make it. You know, it's going to get trashed. So it's worth getting used to those industry conventions and following them. Mm -hmm.